Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Crazy Go here, back again with another video. Today, we're going to be doing a completely different video. I wanted to also show you guys what I do off camera and show you more of my personality and I guess my hobbies, if we want to put that way. So this video is going to be for all my Hot Wheel collectors. Um, I'm a big Hot Wheel collector. That is a shout out to my dad that he got me into Hot Wheels. Um, so back in 2020 during like, you know, the lockdown and quarantine, I decided to get like a new hobby too. Cause you know, I wanted something new to collect. Um, it was just fun. And I personally had fun collecting Hot Wheels. I really do. It's hard to find Hot Wheels as it is. Cause it's starting to become like a very popular thing now. If we want to put that way, everybody wants to buy Hot Wheels or you just get the people who want to buy the cars that are known, known to being popular. Um, like you could do, let's say the Skyline. I know people like the Skyline and I'm one of them, but people will only buy this car and scalp them and sell them as twice as much you can, you know, buy them for. I know this car is like maybe three or four bucks and then people will triple the price like 20, 30. It could be wrong. I don't know the prices exactly of how much that one could be, but you get the gist. So this video is just going to be all about Hot Wheels and show you my personality behind camera. Okay, here we are. So here is my Hot Wheel collection right here. We have one of my personal favorite die casts of the 2000s. Well, it's one of my favorites. You have the R32. That is also one of my favorites. That is from the back in then and the then and now. I want to say back then, then and now, if, or, or whatever. Um, this one is a special one. So shout out to that one, Z guy. You guys may know him from my streams and videos. Um, we did a car trade, so that's how I got this one. Um, I am very, very grateful for that one. Um, this one I got during Christmas, the R34. I love the, like the metallic green and then that, like the flakiness. If you guys can see that, that is what like makes it pop so much to me. Um, that's, that's just something. Um, yeah, see the then and now the R35. I really do like this die cast a lot too. I like how it looks. I like the stripes. I just really am a big person of GTRs just because of the Fast and Furious stuff. That's just, you know, we all grew up and we really liked Brian Skyline. Um, so up here we have the HKS R32. Um, this is one of my personal favorites, like R32 that I've seen out there. Um, I just really like it. And then you got the R33. I think it's like a Nismo one or something like that. Yeah, up there, it's Nismo. I really like this. This was also gifted to me, I think, for my birthday or Christmas. It's a Hot Wheel Boulevard. And then you have the Fast and Furious that I am very grateful to have, too, that my dad gave me. And then up here, we have, you know, the Skyline 2000 again, the R32. And then you have the R34. And then this was also gifted me for my birthday last year. Um, I am grateful for having that anniversary one. And then you got, I know this one was a big popular one way, I think a couple years ago or something like that. Um, this was a very, very popular um, tra team transport set. And I'm very grateful that I got my hands on it when I could. Um, I'm not a big person of like this company, but I, do like this a lot it was also gifted to me for a christmas present it's like the moving part set from matchbox if you guys are familiar with that then up here we have the um rlc 2000 which is really cool that was also gifted to me um i know these are popular these are really popular they are like going for crazy here's both um right here you have the r34 in purple and the r34 in blue this one sells more than the blue, uh purple this one's going for like 500 this one's going for like maybe 300 or lower it could be wrong okay this one i'm gonna call myself out on i bought i wanted to find the r35 hold on let me pull that one down i wanted to find this one out and like in the wild but i sadly had to buy it off somebody which wasn't too bad but this car is beautiful. It is a beautiful R35 die cast. I love the blue. It's just, it's a very nice car. I <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just very thankful that I did get my hands on it. I mean, it did cost a pretty penny, but you know how us Hot Wheel collectors can be. 
I also did forget to man mention, not mansion, mention that this is a super treasure hunt. So I will pull that out and show you guys. Like you could sort of see it, but yeah, it's like the golden flame right there. If you guys can see it, I will have it zoomed in for you guys. It won't be the best, but yeah. Um, I forgot to mention that, that this is a super treasure hunt for people who do not know. This was a very popular die cast too of a super treasure hunt. Like I said, I'm very grateful that I did pay for it, but I'm also not grateful. But, you know, Hot Wheel collectors will just do a lot of things to get, you know, the things that they want, if that makes sense. Okay, now we're sitting down now. So, all right. I'm going to also show you guys my super treasure hunts as well. Okay. And also some of my Hot Wheel IDs. And, you know, we're in better lighting, not standing up and trying to use, like, the ceiling light or, like, the natural light outside. Um, okay. So, here is the um, R34 super treasure hunt. God, just look at that car. It's so pretty in the light. Um, so, yeah. Hold on if I can... Show you guys right there is it is the super treasure hunt R34 to this one back here. This car is beautiful. I love the flaky metallicness. It is beautiful. It is awesome. I love it. Okay, here is another car that I totally forgot I had, and I am still proud of that I have it. But the HKS Honda Civic Type R. This die cast is awesome. I love this die cast. Um, at first, honestly, I was like, oh, Honda Civic Super Treasure. I'm like, e. But then I, you know, saw it in person. I was like, ooh, this thing's nice. Um, how I found this, actually, me and my dad were at Walmart trying to find Hot Wheels. And then, luckily enough, there was a worker, we asked if we can open up the boxes, and we both found a super treasure hunt of the Honda Civic Type R. Hold on, let me show you guys, if I can actually get it. Okay, you can sort of see it, yeah, right there, the flame right there. Um, But yeah, this car is, it definitely like makes it top like way up that's one of my personal favorite super treasure hunts um i will also show you my very first super treasure hunt that i got here my local dg here in town it is the ford gt um honest to god it i'm just still shocked here is the logo so i was just going there to look at the hot wheels and then this was on the front peg and i was like just so happy. I didn't care if there was another one. I just got this one and said, this is mine. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is awesome. I'm so glad that I found this. This is my very first super treasure. I know I should probably have it in one of those protected cards or whatever they're called, but it's just sitting in the box. It's protected enough for my liking, but I should also display it since this is my first super treasure hunt. Um, let me know down in the comments what's your guys' first super treasure hunt that you guys found. Um, okay, so I'm going to also show you the Hot Wheel IDs now that I've gotten and found. Another one that was gifted to me, a Hot Wheel ID, um, GT Hunter. This one's pretty cool. I do like the blue a lot. This one looks really cool. What I also like about these Hot Wheel IDs is that you could scan them and then they go in the Hot Wheel ID game, which is really cool about that. Um, this right here was also gifted to me, a um, 1970 Dodge Charger. Um, yeah, this one's really cool too. I'm not a big Dodge person, but it's still really cool. This one right here, I found at my local Walmart, the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. I do like that gold. I did have two, but I did gift one to my dad because he's a big Hollywood collector. Um, so yeah, this one's really nice. I'm really glad that I found this. And then this one I also did find, and I really am glad that I found this one too. I mean, come on. Um, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S. I really like the red. It stands out. It kind of makes me think of it's a super treasure hunt, but it's like, you know, a 
treasure hunt super kind of I, mean, I don't know um got my hair okay um what was i saying so yeah this one this one's really cool i am glad that i did find this one as well okay this one right here was also gifted me for christmas um i know i've been saying gifted a lot i you know i'm not uh god i lost word of thought <laughs> I am not a member of RLC, that's what I was going to say. My dad is a member of R RLC, but he also did gift his Super Treasure Hunt to me, which was very emotional for me because, like, this was, like, his first ever, and then he gifted to me for Christmas, so it's shout-out to him. So I honestly am really glad. He did find this at our local DG here in town as well, so, like, I think that's really cool, too, that we both had something in common right there. Um, this one he did gift to me, which was, you know, really cool. I did like this. This is the 2020 holiday car right here in the corner. This is the RLC exclusive car. Um, if you don't know what RLC means, if you're a new collector or, you know, if you are a older collector, you know. RLC means Redline Club. And I know that the membership has gotten more expensive at over time. I wanted to be a member myself, but... There's no good cars, what my dad tells me, so I don't want to waste my money on there if there's no good cars. This one right here, um, this is all my Target exclusives, Zamax, and Treasure Hunts. This right here is a Nissan Silvia S13. This diecast was also very popular, too. Um, I really do wish that this was a Target exclusive just because of the red and it looks really cool, but it's sadly not. Okay, this right here is a Target exclusive. It's called the Carbonator. This one was really cool. I did buy two to open one up if I have, you know, those um, sodas that are like the, um, what do you want to call it? The tabs or the, what are they called? The, uh, the lids or tabs. I don't know what you want to call them, but yeah, I sadly did not open the other one. I think I gave it away, but I could be completely wrong. <laughs> This right here is also my first treasure hunt that was gifted to me, the sh Shark Rusher. I am a, also a big nerd on sharks as well, but no one probably wants to listen to me for an hour and a half of listen, <laughs> talking about sharks. But yeah, this is really cool too. Okay, on to the Zamax now. Okay, well, I guess and a treasure hunt. This one's really cool. The Circle Trucker Treasure Hunt, which is really cool that you can use this for a track, but it is a treasure hunt, so it does not get opened. Oh yeah, that you guys are gonna find after these, funny. Um, so we have the BMW Zamac. We have the, what is this? A custom 69 Volkswagen Squareback, which is really cool. And then you have the McLaren. 720s these are really cool i am so glad that i did find these i um also want to say i apparently i did not know that um hot wheels made like the zamac like six pack or something like that which is really cool i want to know where i can find it do i have to order online or am i going to probably have to buy it from a second hand seller let me know Okay, not gonna lie, I literally did this just because it's it's my humor, and I am that type of person. I take jokes just, you know, apparently a little too far, according to myself. But this right here, I, <laughs> I have three glizzy <laughs> treasure hunts. I, oh, sorry about the sniffles, ladies and gentlemen. Um, these... I don't know. When I found out that these were treasure hunts, I was like, I gotta buy them. And I found three of them and I was like, I'm buying them. They're just they're just funny and they're really cool. It was a very unique treasure hunt that Hot Wheels did it back in the day, which is awesome. It's called the Street Wiener, if you guys are curious. Um, this right here I know was also a popular treasure hunt. The Miata, the 91 Miazda MX-5 Miata. Um, this is a very cool treasure hunt too. I really hoped it that they bring back like the Miata or Mazda treasure hunts again. This one's really cool. We have the Ollie Rocket treasure hunt. Um, I think that one was gifted to me as well. The Mustang Funny Car treasure hunt. I think 
oops. Oh, I almost dropped that. Um, I think this one I found at my DG here in town as well, my Dollar General, which is really weird because I've just been, I guess, been kind of lucky sometimes going there. Sometimes I get a car or a DG exclusive car, or sometimes I just go in there and get a treasure hunt, but I have not been there in a while, so I really wish I knew what was there. Here is the custom 56 Ford truck treasure hunt. I did not know that this was a treasure hunt until you look on top here. Um, it is very sneaky. Hot Wheels have been making it harder to find treasure hunts because people are known to buy them all and then sell them for triple the price, which does suck in the Hot Wheels community. People just do that stupid stuff where they buy everything. They buy all the supers. They buy all the treasure hunts or all the main lines. <laughs> that people want and then you're pretty much forced to buy as triple as the price like this right here is like 99 cents but you're gonna buy it for five bucks ten bucks however much depending how high demanding it is and how popular it is because people are very selfish um but yeah this is a very cool treasure hunt um the the head starter treasure hunt i found at my local dg as well I, I do apologize, guys, for my sniffles. It's just, I sneeze a lot, and I just kept going and going, and now I've got sniffles. But yeah, this one's really cool, too. And then we have the Mercedes-Benz U and I Mug 1300. I think that's I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. But he, uh, yeah, this one's really cool. It, I do like the SWAT police look, which is, you know, it stands up. Uh, before... We get further into this video, guys. Or if you guys are still watching, this is probably gonna be a long ass video. Um, I really hope I am explaining the best way I can. Um, I've never done like a Hot Wheel video. I've been watching YouTubers do like finds out in the public or sometimes they show off the collections. I'm going off like what they say and stuff like that. Um, I really hope this is good for my first try. It's the knowledge that I have, so. Like I said, I do apologize, and I really hope I'm doing my best explaining. <laughs> okay, this right here, this, this is honestly, like, a good treasure hunt, this um, donut drifter. I do like this. I did not know that this was a treasure hunt until, I get, where the heck is the logo at? I guess this one doesn't have a logo. I just know that this is a treasure hunt. It is well hidden right there, but you can kind of see the words. Okay. This is the Zamac um, Type R. I will say my favorite thing about this whole entire car is the red windows a lot. It stands out. It's like the Volkswagen. It had the green windows. Um, I do like this a lot. I really do like this. I, I know I say that, but when I mean when I like it, I do like it. Like When you buy a car, you're going to like it, not just buy it just because. You're going to like it, if that makes sense. Um, okay, this one is a also a... Target exclusive, the 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. This one's really cool. I'm not a big truck collector or big truck person, but, you know, it's a Target exclusive. It's might as well grab it. I do like the camo and, like, that racing look, and I'm kind of glad that they gave it extra detail and made, like, the tires dirty, so, like, it has that off-road racing rally cook. Oh, I almost said cook. Look. <laughs> Okay, here is a 67 Chevelle SS3696. A Zamac looks really cool. This is a Chase 2 a series. I do apologize. I look very bad right now. <laughs> um, this is the Gotta Go Chase, the toilet, which is really funny. Um, this is also a Target exclusive um, 19 Chevelle ZR1 convertible. I do like this a lot too. Here is another treasure hunt that I was also gifted. A Humvee. It's called a Humvee. And you can see the treasure hunt logo right there. Here is also some more Zamex. The Miazda RX-7, which is one of my personal favorites Zamex. I really wish I got more, but I only have one. This one is also one of my personal favorites, the Toyota A386 Sprinter Toronto. I think I said that correctly. 
this is really cool. Um, here's also a Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. That is also a Zamek. I forgot to say that. <laughs> here's also a Zamek called Surf and Turf, which is really cool. I do like that a lot. And then we have the Zamac of the Shelby Cobra 46 S slash C, <laughs> which is, you know, cool. This was also a 2020 Zamac. Okay, I think that's all I'm probably going to show you guys. Um, I know this video is going to be very long and it's going to be <laughs> very hard to edit and trim down to make it look good for my first time doing collections of, not a collection, showing off my Hot Wheels actually. So I do apologize if it's not the best. I know I said I like this a lot, but like I said before or a little bit ago, when you're gonna buy a car, you're gonna like it and you're gonna be proud of that you bought it. You're gonna say you like it, you know? So I really do apologize for that. I am very passionate of what I say and what I am saying, but I don't like, you know, it's not this big cocky ego or anything. I'm doing okay. Like I said, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong or so on and so forth. But anyways, I really hope you guys do enjoy these Hot Wheels videos. I am very passionate about this video. I love doing this. It really does genuinely make me happy that I'm doing a Hot Wheel video. I'm not just doing my G Fuel live streams. So yeah, um, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more or if I go in public and find Hot Wheels and I can be, uh, film it for you guys. Just let me know. But anyways, make sure you guys are staying safe. Stay positive. As always, peace. Bye.